at I was gonna look at the items I just picked up the two shields so I picked up the tower shield it provides excellent defense um, this tower shield is actually a carryover from Dark Souls 1 um, from one of the four knights I believe Targus was the knight that carried this so and then we also got this shield which I'm not going to use this is just a cleric shield so yeah it's more of a lucky charm than a proper shield <laughs> that's basically true it does it's not a good shield so cracked blue I so I, I actually never looked at those so let's look at the so we have red we have blue orbs and red orbs the blue orbs are to invade the world of the guilty can only be used by members of the blue sentinels covenant so you can't use them right now if I try and use it it won't let me um, cracked I cracked red eye orb is to invade people so this is to help people this is to invade people this will give you like when you help someone out you get a token of reprisal and this one tells you you'll get a token of spite if you kill someone in their world so which I don't I don't I don't know about you what do you think about invading people Eddie I mean I think it's fun I'm really bad at it and usually I lag so much that I get I get my ass handed to me so okay I I'm not gonna rest at that bonfire because I'm gonna go straight to the boss that actually does matter in this area so there was no reason for me to come over here at all actually I believe this whole the way they have this set up where it splits into two paths is uh, reminiscent of Demon Souls where there's a, a place in the castle in Demon Souls where you can go uh, to this one area that's guarded by a wickedly hard uh, enemy and you can fight a king there and the king if you can defeat him or, or get him down low enough the king will give you his sword so They're a good thing, but I'm not in. Yeah, that's that's the same thing for me. I do like the way they have the multiplayer set up for this game, for these games, and uh, Demon Souls. It's the most unique use of multiplayer I've ever seen in a game, because it's it's actually woven into this the very vague story, which is awesome. Now this next boss is even easier than the boss that I just fought, so there should be nothing to worry about. I don't know why I'm fighting these guys, I don't really need to. But it's kind of fun. Am I human? Yeah, I am. Okay, so because there's a guy you can summon down here. Yeah, there he is. After we defeat this n novice. Okay. Took this guy out. Let's, uh... Summon Masterless Gl Glenor. Uh, I think I asked you this question yesterday, Eddie. Um, do you know if... Uh, and I want to get what's in that chest. So I'm going to entice this asshole. Oh, missed him completely. But I'm going to help my buddy. By throwing bombs at him. Okay. There we go. Okay, get the hell out of my way. Because you can fall off this because it's a little bit glitchy. Okay, so in here sh should be the ring. They changed the position of where... 
you usually get the Ring of Binding much earlier. The Ring of Binding is for when you are hollow. It's not for when you're human. Um, and uh, let me go ahead and read that. Limits the wearer's HP reduction when hollow. So uh, it uh, so that ability that effect that they put into Dark Souls 2 really pissed people off, but they kind of preemptively knew that, so they put this ring in to be like, well, this will help a little bit, eh? Come on, why are you in my way? Okay. Now we fight an even easier boss than before. This boss is so easy. If I die to him, I'm going to be sad. Sad in the pants. And you notice we have a bigger arena because we hit those two... Um, We hit those two levers. There we go. Like I said, much easier boss. That guy is one of the easiest bosses in the game, for sure. Yes, I had help, but I mean, he's he's still really fucking easy. All right. So now we've completely done this area, finally. It shouldn't have taken this long. Okay, this is the bonfire I wanted to actually rest at. And then there's this lady. This lady actually has a interesting quest line. Are you from these parts? My name is Lysia. I have come to spread the art of miracles, a practice of which I am a disciple. I can see that you are well suited to comprehend their wondrous power. But the cost of it... That's for your heart to decide. Okay. Okay, so we already got that. And then there's this, which increases your faith. I think it only increases it by, by five points, which is really not that much for how expensive this ring is. So... And then there's all these spells. Um, you know what? Maybe I should go for a lightning build, because I do like I do like the lightning spells. Maybe I should do that. That means I have to put a lot of uh, stuff into healing. I'm already at 14. I'm only four points away from. Oh no! Never mind. I thought it was 18. Nope. It's eight points away from using a spear. I'm still going to buy it though. Why not? And we'll buy the replenishment spell, which, man, in Dark Souls 1, to get this spell, it takes for fucking ever to get this spell. But in this game, you can just buy it right away. So we'll buy this one. And uh, I think this is a better one, a better version of this, but this one only is 16 faith, this one's 25. Um, so we don't have to get it now. Um, we'll buy this one too, why not? Okay. Let's keep talking. You want to exhaust all her dialogue, because it's part of her quest. Why did I come here? Well... 
Do I need any other reason than to spread the gospel of This is where you get a hint that she's not everything she seems. Said this art should be shared with the world. And such is my only wish. Sometimes I fight the urge to pack up and go back home. It is well. I must do this. And being out here all alone only makes this a more fitting test of my fortitude. I expected this cathedral to be bustling, but there's hardly a soul to be found here. Because they're all hollows. <laughs> Without any goings on, I'll have to move soon. To a place I could gull them. Get gold. Sorry. By teaching the good world. <laughs> yeah, she yeah, she's kind of a bad person. <laughs> I expected this cathedral to be Okay, so she's just gonna to say the same thing. Sorry. Okay. May the power of miracles be with you. Offer your souls to the gods. Okay. All right, so let's uh, travel back to Majula before we go to the next area. Yeah, she is hard to kill, um, but it's very good when you do kill her, because she allows you to use uh, she allows you to do something that's pretty awesome. So, unfortunately, it's only awesome in one place. So. Okay, what was I going to do with all these souls? I was going to do something. Fuck, now I can't remember. Oh yeah, I was going to level my faith. Ooh, I got it all the way to 22. Nice. So now I can use the lightning spells, but I do need more slots. Still need more slots. Okay. So I never need to level faith again, <laughs> at least for a long time. Okay. Let's uh, attune this spell. So, um, we can't use these ones yet. Um, I'll just have to wait until I get more stuff. So this is what the lightning spear looks like. It's pretty cool. Oh, what? Why can't I use it? Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Bam! Lightning spear is pretty awesome. If only you could use it more than once. The lightning spear in Dark Souls takes for fucking ever to get it. Um, but in this game, you can get it right away. So, okay. I am going to spend the rest. Oh, yeah. Um, let's. Uh... Oh, yeah. I also have these souls, too. Now, I'm not going to use my souls to buy a different armor set yet. Um, you need armor. I love how he just sti sits there like, yeah, whatever, bitch. I got what you need. Uh, okay, so he's not selling uh, that set yet. He's not selling uh, the... He's not selling Ornstein set yet, but he he will eventually. So, I'm gonna use the rest of these souls to buy. Oh wait, you know you know who's here? I haven't talked to yet. Is uh, this lady? I feel bad not giving her more clothes. 
Wow, she is buff. I've objectified this woman. I'm sorry. Um, I just wanted to talk to her. She says the same thing. Okay. Be safe. I don't have the pyromancy flame yet, so I can't really do anything with her. So. Oh yeah, you know what? After a certain amount of time, if you go back and talk to Saldin, uh, yeah. Yeah, your devotion in the Covenant has deepened and you gained a rank. I will always be here, watching on. You get the bloodbite ring for free. <laughs> Have you seen that? Yeah, it says the same stuff over and over again. He is the ex exposition man. So let's look at that ring that I just got. I'm probably never going to use it. It's for bleed. Increases bleed resistance. So this game actually does take advantage of bleeding, but not very much. Not very much at all. Um, a lot more than Dark Souls 1 does, though, so that's something. All right, now I'm going to go buy... I'm going to buy more life gems with the uh, the souls I have, which is probably, like, maybe 10? Yeah, 10. Okay. All right. So now let's go back to where we were. Okay. So now we're going to go to the next area. And you'll notice she is gone. There's actually a very good reason why she's gone. Um, but we'll get to that later. Dark Troaches. Okay, here's another item I probably will never use because it has only one specific use. Now, where is it? Where is the Dark Troaches? Um, here we go. Temporarily boosts Dark Defense, which is actually kind of a good thing. Um, if you know... Uh, as, okay, so where this would be useful is there is an area later, later on that you can go to and fight another optional boss um, but you have to kill a bunch of optional mini bosses um, and they're all dark so you know what I've picked up so much of the old knight set already I got the old knight helm see I got the old knight armor I got the old knight gauntlets 
And I think I have the... No, I don't have the old knight leggings. Damn it. That sucks. But I do have... Now I do have the old knight hammer. Which is a big fucking hammer. The old knight halberd. Which I don't remember which enemy uses the halberd. Um... The item I just picked up. Oh, yeah. While we're here, let's look at this sword. This sword is so fucking hardcore. The Dranlik sword, which you get early in the game, is so fucking hardcore. This sword is like the all, all around one of the best weapons in the game. And the shield, the, the Dranlik shield is overall one of the best shields in the game. But unfortunately, I do not have the stats to wield it. You need 16 strength. I do not have 16 strength. So I will be using this sword. The Dranlik sword is fucking hardcore. It is, for, for getting it so early in the game, it is very hardcore. Especially when you level it up to plus 5. That's when you bring out its full capabilities. I can't remember. They so um even though ooh subline bone dust. Okay, that's a very very important item. I wonder if it shows up in here. Yeah, it does. Okay. So you burn it in uh, the far fire in Majula to increase the HP restored with e each use of your flask. So, yeah. Uh, there's not many of these in the game, but when you get them, man, they, they are pretty hardcore. They help out a lot. Even though I haven't really been using Estes flasks, just because... The reason why is not because of their effectiveness, it's because you have to stop what you're doing and drink it. When you use a life gem, you can still move a bit. Which you think it would be the other way around. They would make it that way, but... Ugh. All right. Oh shit. I forgot about that. These guys just appear out of nowhere. Whoa. I'm going to try out my lightning spear on these motherfuckers. Whoa! Holy shit! That was pretty awesome. Blah! And I just, I just wasted all of them, but that's okay. That's okay. A statue blocks your way. So yeah, I don't have another one of those um, uh, one of those branches that um, get rid of petrification but that's okay all right Oh, right. Bonfire lit. So this is a new area. Now, in the original Dark Souls 2, right here is where you meet, um, is where you meet the lady with the mask um, that we met in the Lost Bastille. 
I'm gonna write a note here just cuz I can so weakness Shade! <laughs> Should see if anyone's going to say anything to that. Because she's a shade. <laughs> she's, she's supposed to be here, but she's not. I guess that's the joke. Let's see, who's this? Dong? No thanks. No thanks, Dong. Sorry, man. Oh, yeah. You know what? I am going to... Uh, I'm going to light my torch because this next area is pretty dark, so it helps to light things up. Come on, game! Ah, uh, you bullshit. Uh, well, that was a waste of a effigy. Oh well. I wonder how many effigies you have at the end of the game if you don't use any of them. You probably have at least a hundred. Does anybody know that? If you, uh... If you don't use effigies for the entire game, and you just say human, um, how many effigies do you end up with at the end of the game? I love how that dog sounds. It sounds nothing like a real fucking dog. It's just blah blah blah. Alright. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, you can farm them to a point. Um, there's an enemy later in the game that, that has a chance to drop effigies. There might be a few. Um, I don't know how many, but... I'm gonna light the torches. Oh, got him! Oh. You had to... Uh. You can you can open fight on Iron Keep and get an FNG for every fandoms. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, you are correct, sir. Titanite shard, that's always good. Gonna summon this shade to help us out, cause why not?
Vagrian cuffs. Okay.